Good day to all judges and mentors. I'm Chinwe. I am Anton Anas. And I'm Amar. And we're from College Juniors at Pinta Negara. Enjoy! Planetary health emphasizes on the interconnection of all living things and the effects and consequences of actions, intended and unintended, on life itself. Over the last century, even though huge gains have been made in human health and development, they have been made at the expense of our planet. Our human systems are contributing often negatively towards this changing environment. Wildfires, floods, droughts, these are all adverse effects that have occurred on our planet. What are the similarities between all these disasters? Well, they are all caused by climate change. Recently, our world has been facing many problems from the impact of climate change. Malaysia experienced intense flooding while the Philippines were once more hit by a super typhoon. Climate change is a problem in desperate need of solution. There are many ways people are using to try to solve climate change. But today, we are going to focus on one of the most interesting ways, geoengineering. Carbon dioxide or CO2 doesn't heat up this planet on its own. Almost all of this energy came from sun in the form of electromagnetic radiation. 71% of this energy is absorbed by the Earth's surface and atmosphere. This absorbed energy is emitted again as infrared radiation. And carbon dioxide is able to trap this infrared radiation and keep it in the atmosphere for a while. The method of the geoengineering that we are going to talk about is stratospheric aerosol injection. Stratospheric aerosol injection is a technique of solar radiation management in which sunlight is reflected into space before it is passed through the atmospheric layers and hence not contributing to the rise in Earth's temperature. It is done by spraying large quantities of tiny refractive particles, sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere in order to cool the planet by refracting sunlight back into space. High in the atmosphere, it was found that sulfur dioxide would produce a haze of sulfuric acid droplets by reacting with water and creating giant whales. These wheels of sulfuric acid are able to reduce the sunlight reaching the Earth's surface. But there is one problem with this method. Once we start pumping particles into the atmosphere, we are at risk of a termination shock. What that means is that if humanity were to continue enriching the atmosphere with CO2 while still preventing the planet from heating up by blocking solar radiation, then we're gonna sit on a time bomb. We stop geoengineering. The natural cycle will take over again and Earth will heat up. But after a few decades of keeping the planet artificially cold while still releasing massive amount of carbon dioxide, it will heat up much much quicker. An increase in temperature that would take 50 years today could just happen in 10 years. Such a temperature shock in such a short time will disrupt every major system on Earth so much that it will be impossible to add that in time. This geoengineering method is a painkiller rather than a cure to climate change. It is indeed a good way to buy us more time to explore more ways to sustain planetary health for future generations. And we need to act fast. Thank you.